Good morning, departure bin jet 379, Juliet Mike, 1.5 for 3,000, and the turn to 090. 379 on Juliet Mike, turn right, heading 140. Right turn 140, 9 Juliet Mike. 379 on Juliet Mike, turn right, heading 180. Right turn 180, 9 Juliet Mike. Let's take off runway 19, 379, Juliet Mike. Hey there, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for watching the video. This is a short video on vertical navigation, which includes a crossing restriction and how that is set up in the Garmin Perspective Touch system. Thank you very much, Terry, for the question. I'm currently flying westbound uh, at flight level 280, heading to Longview, Texas. Uh, we're 50.6 miles east of the El Dorado VOR. ATC gives us a crossing restriction to cross the Belcher VOR, actually cross 25 miles to the east of the Belcher VOR at 11,000 feet. What you do is you go to the center Garmin touch controller, it's also known as GTC2. You select the applicable fix, in this case it's the Belcher VOR. Press the name of the fix and then a long track waypoint. Then set the distance before or after the fix. And in this case, it's 25 miles before the fix. Then set the altitude, which is 11,000 feet uh, in this particular case. What this does is gives us a crossing restriction 25 miles to the east of the Belcher VOR at 11,000 feet. Take a look at the map on the MFD and also notice the active flight plan. Refer to the map and the active flight plan on the MFD. Note the vertical navigation window which is located in the lower right corner of the screen. Take a look at the time to top of descent, and top of descent is referred to as TOD. Also take note of the flight path angle, which is defaulted at 3.7 degrees. Based upon that flight path angle, our vertical speed target is going to be 1610 feet per minute in the descent. It also tells us that we will reach the top of descent in 10 minutes and 36 seconds. Check the setup and then activate vertical navigation with the VNAV button on the mode controller. And then monitor it to make sure it's gonna work out fine. That's how you set up vertical navigation and a crossing restriction in the Garmin Prospective Touch system. I hope this has been helpful for you. Any questions, post them below. Thanks for watching.